There are a lot of similarities in the patterns that we're seeing at the volcano now to prior to 1984's eruption, and that is an increasing number of earthquakes below the summit of the volcano, um, some indication of deformation or swelling of the volcano as the shallow magmatic system is, is uh, receiving input of new magma. When uh, you look at, at some development, including residential development that has occurred in the highest hazard zones in Hawaii, um, those people should all be ready for such an eventuality. And as we learned in 2018, things can happen quickly, the volcano can change behavior quickly. The volcanoes in Hawaii produce these very large, wide volcanoes that are called shield volcanoes, and that's because the composition of the magma um, that's being erupted there is very fluid. Uh, it's erupting fluid, hotter, and uh, drier magmas than here, say, in Alaska or at Mount St. Helens, um, where the magmas are compositionally different. They tend to be stickier. Um, uh, stiffer and then they have higher water content uh, and so as the magma rises and the traps all the gas inside of it so it's much more likely to explode. It's picking up in terms of unrest and this could lead to an eruption. We are not smart enough yet to, to give you an exact time frame for when that will happen but we do know it will erupt again. 